Welcome to Corporate Finance and Accounting Talent 2024 Study Preview, a roundtable panel brought to you by the Controllers Council. My name is Neil Brown, Executive Director of the Controllers Council and your host today. And uh, I will be uh, immediately passing it over to our moderator, uh, Lindy Antonelli, but I just wanted to mention that I will be back for uh, managing our four polls. So with that, I will introduce Lindy Antonelli, our uh, board chair and uh, a partner at uh, Armanino. Lindy, take it away. Thank you, Neil. Welcome, everyone. My name is Lindy Antonelli, and I am a partner in our technology practice at Armanino. We're a top 20 tech and accounting consulting firm. And as Neil said, I'm board chair of the Controllers Council. Happy to be here with you today. I do have some housekeeping um, items to go through first. We will have Q&A at the end of the presentation, so please use your GoToWebinar control panel to ask our experts questions. Next, this webinar is CPE eligible because we're going to offer four polling questions coming up that Neil mentioned. So please um, answer each poll for the CPE, okay, and allow a week for the certifications to come through. And then also you will receive a brief survey directly after the webcast, so please complete that as well. We thank you in advance for that. And finally, you'll get a link to this webcast within the next 24 hours. So no need for uh, notes or any screenshots. And I do want to highlight our sponsors. Without sponsors like these, uh, these um, webcasts and our programming would not be possible. So Bill is AP Automation and more. You may have heard of them before, it's bill.com. Allianz is Credit Risk Management. Insight Software is uh, FP&A and BI plus more. Citrin Cooperman is Tax, Audit, and Technology Advisors, and Oracle NetSuite is our sponsor for ERP software today's webcast. With no further ado, I would like to introduce you to our esteemed panelists today. Joy Benugo is, uh, yeah, I said that right, I'm so sorry, Chief Financial Officer at Service Rocket. Hi, Joy, thanks for joining us. And Brad Kacharski our Chief Accounting Officer at Ethos Life. Now, I, uh, both of our panelists are so talented and um, esteemed here, but I do need to read a little bit of their bio so you can get their background. Joy is the CFO of Service Rocket, as I said, a Palo Alto-based technology services firm. Her 20-year career includes working at the controllership office at Google, where she managed $100 billion in cash, FP&A at BlackRock, and a 12-year tenure at Ernst & Young. Joy is also a private investor and a limited partner in various funds, including women-led ventures. That's awesome, Joy. Love that. Uh, Joy holds a JD from Cleveland State, a Master of Accountancy from Case Western Reserve, and a double bachelor's degree in accounting uh, and Black World Studies from Miami University of Ohio. Thanks, Joy. Uh, Brandt, hello, thanks for joining. Brandt is the Chief Accounting Officer of Houston, Texas-based Ethos Life, a tech startup disrupting the life insurance industry. Brandt was former Chief Accounting Officer at Grubhub, where he helped raise five runs of capital before a successful IPO, and an eight-year veteran of Crow as a CPA. Brandt is active on several boards, including uh, the Holiday Heroes Foundation that he supported for over 15 years, helping um, hospitalized children and their families. Brandt earned a Master's of Accountancy and a Bachelor of Accounting from Northern Illinois University, where he's also a board member for the accounting department. And Brandt won the Controllers Council 2020 National Controller of the Year and is on the National Controllers Council Board of Advisors. Thanks again, you guys are have great creds and I know this will be a really um, fun and um, uplifting conversation today with sharing a lot of information. So we'll move on then to what our um, finance and accounting talent study abstract is. Okay, so the objective was to identify how controllers, CFO uh, teams and related executives are managing finance and accounting talent. 
we know that the past few years have been challenging, um, even more challenging than ever. So this is of interest to our membership here and our uh, subscribers and our attendees today. So the national survey was conducted from May to July, just wrapped up in time for our uh, webcast today, and more than 200 respondents participated across North America. Okay, Neil? Yes, yeah, so with that, uh, we'll go to our first poll. We'll have four polls total, and uh, CP uh, merely have to answer three out of four, so let me launch that. All right, what are your organization's hiring plans for finance and accounting staff for the next 12 months? Please select one of the following. So take a few seconds, use your control panel. And it turns out these are also survey questions, so we'll be able to do a little bit of comparison. quite a few people responding that's great yeah this was still collecting almost yeah we almost have 100 percent votes so wow so we will close it out again we have three more if you don't get to this one and we'll just quickly share that oh come on so 37% increasing, only 1% reducing, and 62% maintaining. So, so take a note of that, and we will get to our first survey question. So our respondents to the survey over the last couple months responded very similarly, here we go, to what our attendees responded to today. So uh, we had in the survey study 64% would maintain, uh, you all answered today, 62%. 37% increasing and we had 34 and we had four decrease and you all only had 1% decreasing. So um, that's pretty much spot on with our survey. I'm glad to, to uh, see those results. So um, Joy, uh, how will Service Rocket how would Service Rocket answer this, I guess? How, what is your team looking at? Are you increasing or decreasing finance and accounting hiring? Yeah, it increased, and I can probably speak better to the next six months because we are, you know, we plan out for the year, but um, we currently have an open rec. I think it's outside of the US, but for someone more of an AP procurement type person, we had a pretty um, big team, probably too big for our company size. So we're just looking to kind of right size that department. And right now, no, it's like 10% of everybody's job and not 100% of anyone's job. So we'll definitely be hiring for that role. Um, and, and maybe a bit more in the future, but right now that's like a pressing, pressing role that we have open. Okay, that's great. And Brand, how about Ethos Life? What, what are your hiring plans looking like over the next 12 months? I think for us, you know, we're, we're a venture-backed company. We raised $500 million from Sequoia, Excel, Google Venture, SoftBank. And I think what you saw is 2023 and 22, folks were either cutting some staff as a company overall or being very cautious on hiring. I think we're seeing that flip now. Um, I think there's a lot of optimism that the worst is behind us in terms of that realm. Interest rates may be cut. And I think for us, there's been a real focus on bulletproofing our company on the finance and accounting side and really starting to look at, hey, you know, we're aggressively growing revenue as a company, we're even on positive and, you know, is there a next step of the company, which, you know, may or may not take place in 25. And, you know, we're, we're thinking about what does that look like right now as a company? Is there a potential to hit the market? And, you know, what does that look like? So I think right now, you know, we're, we're looking at our staff, we're trying to bulletproof ourselves and get ready. And, you know, hiring is kind of coming back and we are adding key staff for certain positions that you know may have been a little bit light a year or two ago, right? Right. Well, cool. Well, you guys seem in line with uh, our respondents as well. So great. Thanks for the insights. I think right. Neil's going to go on to the. Oh, this is not a polling question. Yeah. So 
Um, how difficult is it to find finance and accounting talent for your organization? So you can see how our respondents answered the survey study that, uh, you know, 60% say it's difficult. I mean, this is, you know, I guess typical from you know, what you're finding. If you want to hire key staff, you need to make sure they really fit the culture of the company and the technical roles and the experiential roles. And so, you know, um, I think that that's, you know, pretty spot on, but, you know, Brant, I wonder what, what is your perspective on the difficulty of finance and accounting hiring? Um, and, you know, quite frankly, how is the CPA shortage impacting this? You know, it's, it's super interesting. I think our company, I, I've been at the company three years in 21, you know, we are a very hot company, raised a bunch of funding and, you know, didn't have as much challenges finding talent. And I think 22 and 23, you found a lot of folks flocking to larger companies like the Google, the Facebooks, Uber, and all that. And, you know, I think getting new talent it was a little bit more challenging back then because people were flocking to safety versus, you know, a venture back company. Now I think it's back the other way now. And I think people are starting to realize, hey, you know, things are looking better for venture back companies, funding's coming back, investors are opening up the pocketbook. And, you know, if a company is, you know, well positioned with you know aggressive growing revenue and you know cash flow positive it's, it's it's a nice time to kind of look at those companies and you know I think what you're seeing is that you know the Facebooks and Amazon and these big companies are aren't immune to layoffs and they're having some of the big layoffs around so you know we've had some open roles and had hundreds and hundreds of applications of really great candidates apply for the open roles we've had and you know we've been fortunate because we're seeing the swing back you know to you know small to mid sized companies. Now, Joy, I know you're sitting smack dab in the middle of the Bay Area with a lot of those company names that Brant just mentioned. <laughs> so are you competing against them for oh, hiring yeah. or how does that work? Yeah, competing against them for hiring. And it's really challenging just when you're a smaller company and you have a different comp structure. Uh, I used to work at Google so I'm in finance, so I'm well aware of what their comp structure is. And so trying to explain to someone um, you know, VCP back companies have very different comp structure than you getting like your regular flow of restricted stock units that are highly valued. Um, and then I think Google just paid like a historic dividend. So that can be challenging. I will say for the most part, though, there are a lot of people who are interested in um, smaller to mid mid sized companies because there's room to grow um you get to know people really quickly you can work directly like with my company with the ceo so there's some there's some different benefits that you can offer that you may not get out of google like i was not working with sundar when i was there um the one role i will say that i think is challenging to fill is a controller role and i only know that anecdotally um at least in this area, anecdotally, because my husband is a controller and I feel like I could be wrong and he probably would kill me for like talking about him <laughs> on the webcast, but that's all right. Um, I feel like every day he gets an email for like some amazing role, generally VC backed companies because that's the space he operates in mainly. Um, and ev every day, at least once a week, he gets some sort of solicitation via LinkedIn it was even so bad that someone got his resume or had a copy of his resume and I don't even know how he got it that he hadn't sent to them. So the controllership role, I think is an interesting one to fill. Some of the other roles we, you know, I've seen are, I don't want to say easier, but the talent is a bit more accessible. I think finding a really good controller can be challenging. That's a nice segue. Yeah, it's a great segue into our next question.